In this video, I'm just going to extend the ideas from the factor and remainder theorem to ex uh, sort of fractional examples, or you know, with these things which have linear terms that aren't just x plus or x minus something. So I'd watch the videos on the factor and remainder theorems, the, the basic ones first, if you haven't already. Now, um, it's a very similar idea. So before we said, oh, if okay, if I've got you know x squared plus five x plus 4, and I can write that as x plus 4 times x plus 1, so that means that minus 4 and minus 1 are factors, and similarly, uh, are roots, sorry, and similarly if I knew that they were roots, these must be factors. So what's the equivalent thing here when I've got these sorts of uh, expressions, right? Well, um, if I say, if I want to say solve this equals 0, then I either have 2x plus 3 equals 0 or 3x minus 7 equals 0. Okay, so I get 2x equals minus 3, so x equals minus 3 over 2, or uh, 3x equals 7, so x equals 7 thirds. Right, so with the basic factor theorem, it was just minus, you know, if the factor was x plus a, it was just minus a was a, was, was a root. Whereas here, if it's uh, if, if it's of the form ax plus b, then the root is minus b over a, okay, because um, here we've got minus 3 over 2, that's this root here, minus minus 7 over 3, that's 7 thirds. So, so the extension of the factor theorem says that uh, if ax plus b is a factor, then minus b over a is a root, and equivalently if minus b over a is a root, then ax plus b is a factor. So I could call this like, the extended factor theorem, uh, and it says that if ax plus b is a factor of the polynomial f of x, that's true if and only if f of minus b over a is 0, i.e. minus b over a is a root of f of x equals 0. And this same idea applies exactly to the remainder theorem as well, so I could write down a kind of extended remainder theorem, and that would say that the remainder when the polynomial f of x is divided by the factor ax plus b is f of minus b over a. Now, if in the case of something simple like x plus 7, I've got a is 1 and b is minus 7, so this is just f of minus 7, so this is just a more general form of the original remainder form, but what it says if, is if I've got 2x plus 3, say, uh, the remainder when I divide the polynomial by that is whatever I get when I put into the function uh, minus 3 over 2, uh, minus b over a. So for example, if I wanted to find the remainder when x cubed plus 3x squared minus 2x plus 1 is divided by 2x plus 5, well if I call this my f of x, I need to work out f of minus b over a, so I need to work out f of minus 5 over 2. So that's minus 5 over 2 cubed plus 3 times minus 5 over 2 squared minus 2 times minus 5 over 2 plus 1. Now, you might put this in your calculator, or if you're in a non-calculator exam, you'll have to work it out. Um, either way, I think really important to be able to do these. As I know some students who you know, claim to be good at maths, but then can't work out sort of simple fractions. If you don't get how this stuff works, you're missing a lot of uh, what maths is about. So although I wouldn't necessarily do this every time, it's a good exercise to do. Having said that, I hope I get this right now. So minus 5 over 2 cubed, that's cube the top, cube the bottom, so minus 125 over 8, plus 3 times now minus 5 over 2 squared, this is going to be positive, square the top, square the bottom, minus 2 times minus 5 over 2, the minus 2 you cancel with the minus and the 2 to leave plus 5, and then plus 1. So it looks like I'm going to have to put this all over a denominator of 8. So I get 3 times 25 is 75, times it by another 2 to put it over 8, so that's 150 over 8, uh, plus 40 over 8, and in fact, well, let's call 5 plus 1 6, and then this is 48 over 8, so I need 150 minus 125 is 25, plus 48, is 73. Okay, so that would be the remainder uh, when I divide this cubic by this uh, factor. And, well it's not a factor, but 
uh, by this linear expression. So, uh, not a particularly nice number, but then uh, why would it be? So, um, there we go, that's how to extend the factor and remainder theorems to this uh, general linear case. Um, as I say, this video, this video is part of those three on the simple factor and remainder theorems as well, and this kind of extended factor and remainder theorem. But it's exactly the same idea. Um, we're really the thing we're substituting in here is is always just whatever makes this bracket zero, right? In the case where it's x minus three was the factor, well, x equals three makes it zero. But in the case two x plus five minus five over two makes it zero. So that's what we substitute in. Um, and the logic works in exactly the same way as for the uh, original one because you know, let's say I actually do this division of this polynomial by this by this linear factor I would get this times some other thing in here so it's going to have some sort of x squared uh, terms it have to be half x squared here and some other stuff in here uh, and then some number out here which is the remainder I just called it capital R here for remainder um, if I put minus 5 over 2 in here, this is 0, so it's 0 times something, doesn't matter what it is, that's 0. So when I put in uh, minus 5 over 2, right, I just get 0 plus r, I just get the remainder. Okay, so that's kind of a slightly hand wavy proof of why the remainder theorem works. Um, so that's it, that's the remainder theorem.